This whole process has been uh, an intimate collaboration between the New Zealand seafood industry who want to do things better. It started with you know, uh, government funded research into reasonably fundamental issues um, and that followed through um, industrial applied research uh, and then prototyping um, all the way through to the, the current program, PSH. We basically wanted to see where the benchmark was for Hoki. Problem being is that they're you know, between two and say 800 metres down and uh, yeah, we really didn't have any eyes on the, the problem so we designed and built our own underwater cameras and had a look. Um, and I think the aha moment was really why do we have to strain these fish out? Why do we have to exercise and exhaust them? Why do we have to damage them? And uh, we were sort of going, well, you know, there must be good reasons. You know, people don't, haven't fished for 150 years with these methods for nothing, you know. Uh, and uh, the more we looked into it, the more we found that there weren't any real good reasons as to why we couldn't fit the intral conditions to the animal. And uh, we developed some concepts and prototypes and you know, basically maintained as, as low a level of fatigue as possible. We ended up um, showing that the, the juveniles and uh, fish that were coming into the, the catch were actually being uh, selected out. One of the objectives is to make sure that, the, that any animal that does actually reach this, the surface, if we can't select it out in the gear, is actually delivered to, back to the sea, basically unharmed. When you realise that you can design a highly selective trawl, you're winning in many different ways. You're winning in, in uh, unexplored properties, um, values that we haven't realised. Um, uh, you're producing a, a humane uh, harvesting system. So that the animals win. Uh, I think just a great story. When we first started trialling, I was a total sceptic, thinking this is just a load of rubbish. But I've completely changed my mind. What we're actually finding now is that some of the fish that's coming up, the crew are struggling to understand them because they're not what they expect. We can release juvenile fish, we can eat better quality fish. The net and harvesting technology is really just the start of the process. This will lead on to uh, changes in the vessel designs and layouts, how we handle fish um, and get it into the marketplace. Really the, the, the opportunities are endless. This, ladies and gentlemen, is the future uh, of commercial fishing to me.